Hello everyone. Whoa, I'm an alien. I'm a legal alien. I'm an Englishman in New York on Jimmy Master Animatronics. And what I have today to show you is the Chain Fong Repeating Toucan. Now these go by a lot of names. They have a lot of variants. There's Jimmy, there's non-Jimmy, and I'm thinking about starting to collect these kind of toys, to be honest. They're really neat and I never really gave them that much importance as they deserved. I do have another one which is a China fake, uh, China fake Pete the Repeat Parrot, which is in my grandma's house. I'm gonna have to hang that one up, up there, and I might be receiving another one from a friend. So, anyways, um, this was made in Chain Fong in 2002, but it's been all the way since the 90s. But I mean, this particular one, it said 2002 on the board. So. I received a little, little info about it from a friend of mine who said they were still being sold at Cracker, at Cracker Barrel. And I'm like, holy crap, so these things are still being made. And uh, I would definitely like to get my hands on one of those just to see if it's old stock or if it is a new one and the components inside are shitty. Because this one, it's nowhere near that. It's actually really well made. Um, it's really good plastic and even the, the, the bottom thing. It's just, it feels another thing. And of course, here's the brand of it. Chain Fong Toys. I do have a few other products by Chain Fong Toys. Um, but they are not necessarily animatronics. I have um, one of those, um, not Cosmo Cup, but the one that's small. There's like a small police car that it's a bump and go. And it raises up and it spins. And then I have another one that does the exact same thing, but it's a plane. It's, uh, actually that one was from my cousin. It's, uh, what was it called? A Chain Fong Talking Jet. Anyways, I'm going back with this one. It uses six AA batteries, and even though, even though he uses six, he uses these four. Yeah, the four Energizer ones are used for the, um, for the sound and the recording thing. And the only these two are for the motor. Well, you know what kind of reminds me? of this because it, it actually first it was like ah oh, it's kind of strange you know but then I bought this guy which I actually received it around two days ago and this is a jemmy one too but it doesn't work the board is like plain dead which kind of depresses me it's, it's supposed to be a repeater too um, and basically he also does the same thing inside here there's a battery holder for a 9 volt battery and two AA batteries for the movement this one will be reviewed in a future time whenever I get the uh, another toy to like scrap up the chip or something to make it a repeater because this was supposed to be a repeating toy. I have tried replacing capacitors and everything and nothing just helped out so it's 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 non-essential. I, I just every time I see these two toys I get pissed by many reasons. This one because it's the only one that I've ever seen and it's dead. And this one because I was stupid enough to take the little cane apart on Kevin at Kevin's house and I think I lost either I lost it or it's at Kevin's and that still pisses me off a lot because I, I should have at least kept it somewhere that I knew about but I, I, I never did <sighs> anyways going back with the toucan <coughs> has an on up switch on the back right there And he was not like this, of course, when Kevin got it, because Kevin got it in the yard crawl when he was still into animatronics. Later on, he kind of gave up on that, and he ended up either giving away or selling some of his animatronics that he really didn't have that much appealing to. So he, this was one of the lucky, the lucky animatronics that went with that one with me, and it was dirty. The beat was dirty, and it, you know, it had all stains all over it then the entire fur has has had to be removed and it's it was a pain cuz how can i explain it without doing it too long the skin is basically you see this like this on the side and it's not like this the fur is actually these are two separate pieces of fur that are glued if anybody remembers the video of how to remove hot glue this is the one that i was fixing up at the time and of course you gotta glue the, you gotta glue the tail on because the tail is also glued on and it was a pain it was a pain in the ass uh, 
because the thing is, I, I just made sure that I wouldn't have to take this guy apart anymore. That's one thing for sure, because it had this one, uh, just grabbing it, sorry, this one A2 gear that was split, and uh, I just replaced it by a regular gummy gear, a little rubbery gear that I took out from, where was it that I took it out from? Oh, one of my uh, robots. I took it out from there. I replaced it by a regular A tooth, and I gave this guy a gummy nine, a gummy A tooth, so that he no longer has issues. And the mechanics are pretty silent too, actually. Anyways, this guy repeats up to like I would say either ten or twelve seconds of what you're saying, and um, and it's really I like I like the quality this has. It's not the best quality, but it's definitely better than the other one that I have. Cause again, I'm gonna I'm gonna be bringing back a, a few of the uh, voice repeating toys and probably fixing them up because I do have a few that do need repair. But this was, as uh, then again, this was like a complete one when I got it, and I got it from Kevin. So, you know, it's it's a whole lot better. I was like, yeah, I'm probably gonna start collecting these again. These are really nice. Plus, this guy will have a lot of friends to go with. Eh, eh, eh. De. Anyway, what it does, of course, you guys probably know, it's it flaps its wings, it opens its beak, and repeats up to like 10 or 12 seconds of whatever uh, you want to say to it. Another thing is that these are actually bendable. Yeah, you can bend these and take them out of here to, uh, you know, store it in the box. And another thing that I forgot saying is that there's around two or three more versions of this. There's a green one. There's this one, and there's one that's red with green. So I think all of them were red with green, but then there was another one that I forgot about. Because um, there's one, I know there's one that has green. I know there's this one, I know there's one that has green instead of black. And I forgot which one was the other variant. I think, no, I think this, there's one with green, one with black, which is this one. And uh, that, I think there was a completely green one too, sorry. There was a green one. Anyway, I guess we'll go to the demonstration part, shall we? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, he repeats everything you say. He repeats everything you say. He repeats everything you say. Are you talking to me? Are you mocking me? Are you mocking me? Are you mocking me? I see you are mocking me and you are mocking me. And you are mocking me. And I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, you know, I'll try a really long one. Wait. Oh. Hello everyone, this is Autic Leader 635 on the Jimmy Master Animatronics. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> See, we think we think each we uh we we, oh. we read each other's minds. When I have something kinky to say, he works fine. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess that's the entire review. There's nothing else I gotta say. It's really well made from the inside, and um, it's it's a really nice toy that I received from Kevin. So thanks, Kevin, for that. Um, and yeah, I guess, I guess that's practically it, I don't have anything else to say. He's got a big ass speaker in the chest, a pretty big board actually, on I think around the back area. The gearbox is pretty tiny. Like you would think, that's a gearbox that takes over at least half the body. No, it's, it's actually a really tiny gearbox that is just placed in the middle. And it goes around, what's it, to half the white part on the body, like half, not, not even half the body. And it actually attaches to the wings because it has like two spinning knobs that attach to each wing. And of course, yeah, you have to you have to synchronize those to be both up and both down. I actually have never seen one of these with uh, with one of those just unsynchronized. And the funny thing is that it's uh, it's a round shaft. But anyways, it would be actually cool to see something like that just to see what the hell could happen. Why well, you don't got to do it like that? So, anyways, I guess we're gonna say goodbye with Mr. Parrot. No. Mr. Toucan saying something for us. Like the video, subscribe, and don't forget to comment, because if you don't comment, I'm going to get you.